Hey babes, this video I'm recreating the Grinch makeup look with prosthetics. The Grinch Who Stole Christmas has to be my number one top favourite Christmas film ever. You guys seem to like my crazy makeup tutorials because my Halloween tutorials, they've been very, very successful. And so many of you guys recreated them, which I really, really appreciate. So I thought I'd do another creative look. So here you are guys, enjoy the video. Okay, so for the prosthetics, I'm going to be really, really quick. This is the face cast that I made at uni. This is the sort of things that we learn at uni. But since I'm at home, I don't have all the equipment. First things off, I'm adding a first layer of plastiline on the area that I want the nose to be. And now I'm building up the prosthetic so that I create a who knows. And make sure to grab every angle and make sure it's really, really smooth. Create a nose for the Grinch. And with cling film, you want to create lines and texture and holes on the face. And now, to make the prosthetic, you want to add nine layers of liquid latex, letting each layer dry in between. Make sure the edges are um, thin. And you want to talcum powder everywhere so that it doesn't stick together. And talcum powder all of the inside before peeling it off. And that's the prosthetic done. So the first thing that I'm going to do is apply my green contact lenses from PinkyParadise.com Oh yeah, I've got, my, I've got a spot there. I don't want to squeeze it because I know it will make it worse. But anyway, I'm just going to place the prosthetic that we made earlier onto my face. You want to get some of the talcum powder and just press it right against the edge of the prosthetic. Once you've got that rough outline, you just want to go over that with some white eyeliner. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and just go over it so it stays a little bit better than the powder. Now what you want to do is get Prosade or liquid latex or spirit gum, maybe even eyelash glue and paint that all over the surface area inside of the outline but leave a centimeter gap between the adhesive and also the outline. Make sure you, that you apply a good thick moisturizer as a barrier between your skin and the makeup and I'm not applying the adhesives to my spot. And then you wanna stick this prosthetic on. Paint the edges of the liquid latex so that that sticks down as well. Once out of the face is done, the prosthetic is not bad because this is my first time and I'm not an expert in these sorts of things but I made it look as good as I could possibly do it. Anyway, the prosthetic is hollow as well so it's not like how you see it in the movies. I'm just a 19 year old boy trying to do this as well so sorry if it's not up to your standards but this is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna be mixing in a white, a black, a green and a yellow face paint together all from Snazaroo. Mix them all together and apply it to my face. Just paint that all over the face. You wanna do thick layers of this. You want it to cover up the latex, you want it to cover the skin, you don't want any flesh colour showing or anything like that. I'm applying more of the yellow on highest points of the face, like the forehead and the cheekbones here as well. Don't apply the face paint to your lip as well. You don't want to do that, you want to keep that pink. Now what I'm going to do is you can get a toothbrush or you can get a, one of these eyebrow brushes. They're really, really cheap and mix up the same colours but add more water to the mixture. Spray that to the face, this will add texture and make it look more skin-like. The further away you spray the face paint onto your face, the sheerer the colour, and the closer that you apply the colour, the more opaque it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be taking a black eyeshadow from my Sleek Supreme palette and an angled brush, and I'm creating forehead wrinkles. You don't want to follow your own forehead wrinkles because you want to make the Grinch's face, so you want to make them really, really curved. I can taste something really funky in my mouth, and I suspect it's 
the face paint, it doesn't taste very good. I'm mixing in these two dark greens with a shader brush and I'm going to be smudging in that black so it blends it a little bit. And you want to blend that downwards so it creates the shadow. Now you want to take an iridescent white and apply that above the lines that you created with the black and this will create a highlight so it will look more 3D. This is just going to be a background colour though, so you're going to take a yellow and apply that on top. You want to take your brush again and you want to spray some more to create texture because you've been using a brush to create the forehead lines. The freckles and the skin marks and the texture has been removed so you want to just reinforce that again. And for the nose and the mouth you want to do the same method so the Grinch has a who mouth, so what you want to do is, from the nose, you want to curve it down, bring it out, and down. I'm also using a reference image from Google so that I get this as spot on as I can. Basically I'm creating three of these curved lines. Okay, do you want to blend that again? So we're going to do the same method with the highlight, so take the iridescent white and apply that and then take the yellow and apply that on top. Add more texture. And then I'm going to take a very very fine brush and I'm going to take the black face paint on its own this time. You want to dot whisker follicles onto the muzzle area. You want to make this sporadic and sort of organic and it doesn't have to be symmetrical on either side. Easy peasy! So I'm going to be taking the black eyeshadow again and apply that onto the upper lash line. You can be as sloppy as you like, it doesn't have to be perfect. And also applying that all over the lower lash line. And take those dark green eyeshadows and we're going to smudge that towards the face paint. The Grinch has yellowy eyes, so I'm taking my grey, my Claire Jumbo eye pencil in yellow. And actually, the Grinch has very long eyelashes, so I'm going to be taking Bourjois the Volumizer mascara and applying loads of coats of this. And I'm going to be applying these custom lashes. These were just um, normal eyelashes that were spiky. Put some longer feather lashes on top, just on the corner, because that's how the Grinch has it. This is so much fun to do, guys. I love the Grinch. I want to tell you a little story. So, I used to have an old channel where I posted very similar videos to this, and as I started that channel, I started to do makeup. At the end of 2010, I was in VTech Drama, and we were going to do the Grinch, which was amazing because it's been my favourite Christmas film ever since, ever since ever, really. I loved it, I used to love watching it as a kid and everything, and I wanted to be the Grinch, I auditioned to be the Grinch, but I didn't get the part, my friend in the class got the part. Before I carry on, I'm going to fill in the eyebrows using the black eyeshadow, and just creating short strokes. From head to toe, Nikki Tutorials and Claire Delise Art had this winter contest, and I entered it, and I did my makeup as the Grinch, and I won the contest, and that's really how my whole makeup obsession started because, well, I got subscribers out of that, I got like 300, which was incredible in my head, like 300 subscribers, like, what? I remember that feeling of getting 300 subscribers in one day because I won from head to toes contest and I was like, people are gonna want me to post something else, so I kept doing it, and doing it, and doing it, till I got this new channel, and now... Now I'm here doing the Grinch makeup again, and oh my god, this is like really nostalgic for me guys, like honestly. That was like four or five Christmases ago. That is crazy. And now there's 30, and now there's like 37,000 of you. What? Oh god, I'm getting emotion here. That is crazy.
Thank you guys for always supporting me. You guys mean so much to me, honestly. When I'm having the worst day, because I'm not perfect, I make mistakes. Like, you guys make me happy, honestly. So, next up, I am taking a green wig. I'm just trying to find the perfect part and the perfect curl for the eyebrows. That looks pretty good. We are going to paint this with the black and the green face paint. And you just want to cut that. You want to manipulate the hair how you want to and you want to get your hairspray and spray that in place. And then I'm going to take some lash glue and apply that underneath the eyebrow and above the eyebrow. This is black because I'm using a black eyelash glue. Because you don't want to apply this to your eyebrow hairs because it's going to be annoying to take off. So I'm just going to be placing that on to the glue. So for the nose I just painted that black and drew a black line right into the centre of this. And now I'm going to be putting on my Santa hat and my fur coat so to finish the look. So this is the final Grinch makeup look you guys. I think from my past Grinch makeup this is a little bit of an improvement. I mean it's not perfect because of the prosthetic but this is pretty cool. I love it. 2014 has been amazing to me. You guys have opened so many doors for me, so many opportunities, so many blessings. Thank you so much and I hope that 2015 is filled with that as well. Thank you guys, like honestly, some of the things that I've gotten to do this year have been incredible. Going to Google headquarters like three times, the YouTube creator space, filming in London, going to London for events, everything like that I get to do because of you guys. Thank you guys so much, I honestly care for you guys and I hope to see you in the new year. Merry Christmas and a happy new year, guys. Subscribe. God damn it. Bye.